Bang. Boom, 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 bang. boom, boom, boom. Those sounds suck. Let's add sounds from freesounds.org. So badass. These are the steps for making and animating fireworks in Toon Boom Harmony Print. That was too quick. Don't worry. We'll go through it now together. First, add a basic gravity node to the node view. Got it. Next, delete sync and the 3D region for velocity. Mm -hmm. This is what the sprite emitter is doing now. Pathetic. We need to change the velocity type to random in all directions. Okay. Now, we need to remove gravity temporarily. Cool. That looks better. For the sprite emitter, one means poop particles. Zero means no pooping particles. See? Yeah. Excellent. Now, let's go to the timeline and set three keyframes. Make sure the yellow stick guy animate button is on. Find trigger in the timeline and add keyframe zero, followed by a one, followed by a zero. Now, our particles are only being pooped out for one frame. Let's add more particles. 500? More. 700? Excellent. You can add more poopy particles if you want. Click on the drawing and press O to find it in your timeline and go to frame one. Go to your drawing tab and click on the grid and zoom into the center. Got it. In your color tab, choose a gradient of colors and draw your fireworks. This is one way to draw them. And you can click on the onion skin to help see the previous drawings. We drew four particle types, so we can up the particle type to four. And if you forgot to change the rendering to use particle type, do it now. Done. Wonderful. Wonderful. Our first firework is looking better. Next, we're going to add some directional blur like this. Now the blur follows the particles. We can increase or decrease the directional blur with keyframes in the timeline here. Let's also add some glow. Cool. Yes, very. Click Use Source Color. We can also keyframe the glow effect, intensity, and radius in the timeline. Ooh. 1.5 for intensity looks good. See? Hell yeah. Okay, we have to use a kill node. I don't want to. Well, do you want your particles to live forever, or do you want your fireworks to be badass? Um, badass? Then use the kill node. Okay. Let's kill the fireworks after 25 frames. But the fireworks disappear instantly, and that's not realistic. No, fireworks fade out. Exactly. So, let's go to the sprite emitter. And for the coloring strategy, choose Apply Opacity Based on Frame. Okay, it looks like our fireworks disappear on frame 31. So, let's have them fade out before frame 31 by adding keyframes to the color alpha, like this. Make the value 0 for the last keyframe, and add an ease like this. Looks good. Okay, we're halfway through. Time for a 5 millisecond break. Now, let's add some gravity. Negative 1 is too much gravity. Let's make it less. Negative 0.03 works here. You can also change the velocity, but let's keep it at 0.5. Let's add more particles. We want to be able to move our firework where we want in our scene. We need a peg then. Exactly. Add a peg like this. Are we done now? Do you want your fireworks to look not, not badass? badass? No. Then don't whine until you're finished making the fireworks and they look super, super badass. badass. Okay. We need to duplicate the fireworks. Remember, copy, paste, special. Click new columns. Go to the keyframes for the sprite emitter and let's delay the second firework by a few frames like this. Can we just repeat that multiple times? Excellent thinking. Yes. Repeat, 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 repeat. Whoa, look at my fireworks. They look pretty cool. I agree. Aren't you glad you didn't quit? Yeah. What if I change the shape and color? Do it. Cool. My fireworks look more interesting. Definitely. Well, that was easy. Thank you. No problem. 